Welcome, my name is Denise Toby, and I'll be presenting the Board Governance Series, which will be an eight-part series filling a variety of topics to help your board grow and help your organization succeed in these uh, ever-changing times for nonprofit organizations. The reason that we are doing this training is because it's something that I truly believe in. Uh, I will not be able to get out and meet with every board and spend this quality time with each and every one of you, and so we decided to develop this DVD series to help you uh, help your board in a progressive series so that you can use each of these parts at different meetings at different times during the year that are relevant to your board. I truly believe in making sure that every board succeeds and helps every organization succeed and that is the reason that I'm doing this training today. What makes a high performing board? Too many times we ask that question and don't know that answer and this series is designed to help you understand those roles. The agenda that we will be covering, uh, we covered some of it in part one, board governance, board responsibilities, how nonprofits differ from other organizations, keys to success and best practices, rights of a board member, responsibilities of a board member, strategies for an effective board, boards and internal controls, board evaluation, and how a board is involved in the audit process. What kind of training should a board receive? Orientation to the regulation requirements. I was doing this training for a board one time and explaining the roles and responsibilities of a particular program. And a board member raised their hand and said, I don't think we should do this program anymore. It's too difficult. Or we shouldn't accept that funding because it has too many restrictions. And everybody on the board looked at her and said, but that's all we do. So we had a board member serving on a board not knowing anything about the organization. What about their articles of incorporation? How many times have you reviewed your articles of incorporation as a board member? How do we operate as a board? How do we function? Meetings, committees, conflict of interest. What's our relationship with the executive director? How do we interact with staff and what should those interactions look like? What's the role and responsibility of the executive director? Do we train our, our boards to know that? and the roles or responsibilities of the board regarding employment, retention, and compensation of the executive director and the key staff. Understand that really the board acts as the boss of the executive director. You are their supervisor. You provide input on how they're operating, things that they should be doing. What other training should you be receiving? Overview of the administration and the financial management policies and procedures. Do you know what types of internal controls your organization has? Are they tight enough for you? Do you feel comfortable with the way the organization operates? Orientation to and how to oversee mission and long range and annual plans. What does that mean? What is my role in setting strategic plans? My role in overseeing programs and services. Do you realize as a board member you are ultimately responsible for this organization if something goes wrong? And I hope everyone's nodding with agreement, but unfortunately many people don't realize that. That's why your responsibility on this board is so important, because you're ultimately responsible. Do you feel comfortable making those decisions? Do you have enough information to make sure that something doesn't go wrong with the organization? Do you make sure that the programs and the services that the organization is providing are the right programs and services? Now certainly you don't have the knowledge to know how to provide those programs and services, but you are the oversight to making sure that those things are done properly. Agency evaluation, reporting policies and procedures, how to make sure that we, our organization is in check.